PFA is not a specialized intermittent intervention. It's a very basic one, a very simple one, but it's a very needed one. Some of the people have more resources to, I mean, have more accessibility to information, information. But others, they, they do not know what they can do. They feel paralyzed, they feel impotent, that they cannot do anything and they cannot even dare to ask where we can find help. Sometimes when you go and provide them with that simple, basic information, you make a big difference in their, uh, in their life. And then one-on-one therapy, something that really works good in, in Gaza Strip. While sometimes group therapy is something that doesn't work in Gaza Strip. Because people know each other. If I tell you I'm Yasser Abu Jama, you know, you hear my family name and you live in Gaza Strip, you'll immediately know at least where is my neighborhood in which area I live, and probably you will need you will you will know one of my cousins. So I, I'll not be able to really speak openly in front of a, a group on what really happened, for example, when there is something specific that that's there. You know? So group therapy intervention that go into group therapy, I say, may, might not work, but counseling, group counseling services would work well because they can speak about things in general, but not to go into the very specific details or something like that.